How can we create our own functions in Excel using VBA? This is what you're going to learn in today's video, but don't need to worry because it's pretty much simple to do. And the first thing that we need to start with is to enable the developer tab. Of course, you don't need to use the developer tab itself to access here the visual basics because you can use the shortcut Alt F11, but it's pretty much used to just enable here the developer tab because maybe once in a while you can use a tool that the developer tab have. So to enable here the developer tab, you can click here in the home tab and then in any blank spot you can right click and then you can go to the customize option and with this new windows that's gonna appear for you you can select here on popular commands you can change it to let's say main tabs and here you can find the developer tab you can click click here in add and then click here in ok now you already have here your developer tab and here in the developer tab we can find the visual basics or aka vba this is what we're gonna use in today's video to create our own function but before we create our own function let's understand why should I create here my own function what type of problem that I have that I need to use a custom function to solve to help me to solve this problem this task so here I have basically uh, a couple of students names the grade of each one of the students a bonus point the, the absence and here I need to calculate the final grade but here I need to follow some steps I need to, to met a criteria that is for example so this first student here he got a 8.25 in the grade. He also got here a bonus point. So I need to add these two values to got here the final grade. However, I also have here as a criteria, for example, the absences. And if a student got, let's say, 10 as absence greater than or equal to 10, I will not consider the bonus point in the final grade. Okay, so let's say here, for example, this student right here, he got 5.25 in his grade. He got here a one in bonus point but he got uh, absences that is equal to 10. So in this situation right here, these students will not be able to use his bonuses points. So his final grade is gonna be equal to 5.25, okay? Different than the first student that got an 8.25, he got one in bonuses point, and he also got here a zero in absences. So yeah, here I'm gonna add these two values. And he, of course, is going to have as final grade 9.25. Okay, so I need to follow these steps to create my function here in Excel. And, of course, I can use, let's say, a if function to help me with this problem. I can use a sum function to do it for me. But instead of using, let's say, the sum function within the if function, append one function to another, I want to create here my own function in Excel. I want to customize my own function. Let's say I do it every single day or every week. It's pretty much easy, in my opinion, to create my own function. And whenever I need to solve this problem that is look like this, I can use my own function to solve my problem in a pretty much faster and easier way, okay? So here in the developer tab, I can click here. And here in this first option of Visual Basic, I can click here to open a new window. And here is where we can just type it in our function. The first thing that I want to start here is to insert a module because that way we can create our own function, our own automation. But here I don't want to create an automation for example, I want to create a function. That way I'm going to start here with function itself. Okay, so I type it in here function and then I need to give a name for my function. So let's say I can give a name for that is like a final grade formula, for example. And if you need to, let's say, separate the words, so final space grade space formula. Instead of using space, you, you can't do it, to be honest. So instead of you can use, let's say, underscore to separate this, the words. But I'm going to uh, let everyone here together, okay? So function, final grade formula, and then I'm going to open here parentheses, and I'm going to type it in here all the criteria that I need, all the arguments that I need to use. So as we just saw before, I need to use, let's say, the grade itself and then comma, the bonus, comma, and then let's say the absence. Okay, close parentheses, and I'm going to press enter. That way, as you guys can see, Excel Wettles recognize that I'm using here a function. So it's a way to change here the color for a blue column, for example, and Excel Wettles end here for me my function. And what we need to do now is just in between the function and the end function, just type it in or formula or function itself, how it's going to work. So the first thing that I want to start here with is, let's say, as we just saw before, if the student's absence is greater than or equal to 10, the final grade is going to be equal to the grade itself. But let's say a student got the absence less than 10, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9. The final grade is going to be equal to the grade itself 
add to the bonus. So I can start here using the if function because I want to check if a criteria is met. So if my, let's say, my absence is greater than or equal to 10, then enter, then my final grade formula is going to be equal to the grade itself. Simple as that. However, if my absence is not greater or equal to 10, I mean, if my absence is less than 10, else, enter, my final grade formula is going to be equal to the grade itself, add to the bonus. Simple as that. And then enter again. And now I need to end my if function. So, end if. Okay, enter, and we're done. And we need to use three arguments. The first one is going to be the grade, and then the bonus, and then the absence. Okay, so we're going to need to select the cells in this specific order. Let me just minimize this window here, and now we can apply here our custom function. So let's say equal final grade formula. Look, I can double click here, and as we guys just saw before, I need to insert here selected cells in the same order that I created by the arguments, okay? So I ah, just forgot what is what comes first. If it's grade, if it is absence, you can press Ctrl A, and then you're gonna have here a new window that is gonna show for you the order that your arguments. So the first one is grade, and then bonus, and then absence. Okay, I can close this window now. So the first thing that I'm gonna use here is equal sign, final grade formula, double click it, okay? The first argument is the grade then comma, and then my second argument is the bonus, then comma, and then my final argument is the absence. Close parentheses and then press enter. Look, that way the final grade formula, I will let's calculate here for me, what is the final grade for the first student? And as you guys can see here, uh, the first student got 8.25, he got one in bonus, and the absence is equal to zero, or is less than 10, for example. So yes, of course, the final grade is gonna be 8.25, add to 1 plus 1, so it's equal to 9.25. If I just double click here in the corner of the cell or I click hold and drag down to make sure all the rows contain the same function, I can see that all the students that got the absence greater than or equal to 10, their final grade is going to be equal to the grade itself. And yeah, so let's say here, this student right here got a 6.75 and the bonus is 1 and but the absence is equal to 11. So I cannot consider here this one as bonuses. So his final grade is going to be equal to the grade itself, 6.75. So as we have here, so 6.75. So it's working. And now that we're done with our custom function Excel, one important step is instead of using, let's say, to save this file as .xlsx, we need to save it as macro, for example. So instead of using this X in the final, I need to use the M for macro. So I can click here in the file, and then I go to save as, and then I can go here to browse. And here, the most important thing, save as type. Instead of using .xlsx, I need to change it to, let's say, Excel Macro Enabled Workbook, okay? So, XLSM. So, this is the most important thing. You can save it in anywhere in your computer, but you need to select that option here to make sure you don't lose your function that we just create with VBA, okay? So, make sure you select that option here, and then you can click here to save your Excel spreadsheet file. And I hope you guys this video can help you out on how to create your own custom functions here in Excel using VBA. And of course, you don't need to do the same as I did here. You can just change something, let's say. You can create your own function to help you out on your daily basis, on your own tasks, okay? So I hope you guys this video can help you out. If you have any questions and any suggestions to the next videos, comment down below, let me know, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.